first saved voice message. David, hi, uh, it's me, Anna. I'm just checking in because I want to see how you've been since you got back to Texas and how your niece is doing. Um, so maybe call me back. I'm just um, I'm thinking about you and just wondering how you are. And so if you have some time, I can really, right? Talk to you soon. Bye. End of message. Next message. Hi, David. How's it going? It's Bobby. I just wondering if, if you wanted to have a garage sale tomorrow um, in the morning. Do you, do you want to have a garage sale? Oh, 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 you're not answering your phone? Oh. Oh, you know, you know what? I, I see how it is. Oh, well, you know what? Well, then why don't you just fuck off? Well, why don't you just fuck off and die? I thought we were friends. You, you fucking jerk. <laughs> no, no. So call me if you want to have a garage sale tomorrow. Bye. End of message. Message erased. Next message. Baby, baby, go baby. I still give a shit about you. I hope you're doing great. Um, My kids got gas today, so he's making my life a living hell. Um, just hanging out, having a kid. I miss you. I hope everything is good. I know you're probably working, flying around, being sexually active in your community. I miss you. Um, hopefully I'll get to talk to you soon. Thanks for calling. We're doing good here. We're hanging on. We're getting used to the routine. Tiny people flying around. Love you. Miss you. Talk to you soon. Bye. End of me message erased. Next message. Hey, what's up? I miss you. Um, I just had the weirdest experience. I went on a date with this guy, and throughout the date, I realized that I was just on a date with you. Like, he has the same mannerisms, he has the same voice, he does the same weird shit, he laughs the same way. It was so fucking weird for me that I was being a total weirdo the whole time. <laughs> Anyways, it was real funny. Um, I wish you were here. I miss you now. Fuck that guy, but uh, you're the best. And I felt like he was ripping you off, and I didn't jive with that. So I miss you. I love you. I hope to talk to you soon. I'm so glad we got to see each other in New York. End of message. Next message. Yo, know, what's up, dude? I used to not like your voicemail, and now listening to it, I love it. I think I had, like, a conversation this week um, with, like, two different people. One, my brother ripping my voicemail for being unprofessional. My cousin, who's a lawyer, listened to my voicemail, and he's like, I love your voicemail. His voicemail is fucking excellent, by the way. My cousin is, 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 is like, his voicemail is like, and... Silly, like just like very bold. <laughs> and I fucking like, uh, yeah, listening to your voice. No, I love it. I love it. I hate the fucking people that oh, it's not professional. Like, shut the fuck up. Anyway, um, yeah, I actually had an editing question, but I'll call you later because I'm actually busy right now. But pretty much, um, it had to do with like, I did an interview at Hero's Journey Gym, and um, I uh wanted to edit, make some edits in the documentary, or the interview rather, uh, and I just had a specific question in terms of like, can I still make it look professional and not like choppy with my edits? So like, it goes to the next question and it looks pretty like smooth and it doesn't look like a, uh, or has been an edit, is there a way around that? Or should I just seek and find it out for myself, I'll eventually figure that out. Um, if there's a trim, edit, or something specific, maybe I could actually um, go into like a picture instead of like, if the edit is bad, I'll go into a picture that relates to a question um, regarding, I'm sorry for battling, I'll hit you up later, but uh, I'm seeking you out, alright, peace it. End of message. Message erased. Next message. Well, I was looking for a guy named David Bellarose who's in Austin, but I, I'm hearing some lonely giant Brit, so I, I don't know if I get the right number. Listen, man, we want to get you on camera. Uh, I just shot Jacob, myself, um, 
Lawrence. He's just what's coming over in an hour ish. And um, this is also Kickstarter. So just to watch another video to say why you guys do or do not want to show. I guess if you don't want to, you can come and tell us that too. But I'm assuming you would. Give us a shout, man. Thanks, man. End of message. Message erased. Next message. Hey, boss. Uh, EJ. Uh, we're going to talk to you about a couple things. One of them is sort of pressing. Uh, give me a call and eat chance. All right. Bye. Message erased. Next message. What are you doing, you layabout? Only two hours, like fucking six hours ago. I'm going to go ahead and finish this shit by myself. And then I'm going to feed it to the birds. End of message. Next message. Bye. There it is, Jake. Check it in, call me. End of message. Message erased. Next message. Hi, Dave. It's Mom and Dad. We called to say hi. We're on our way back from the shore, and we want to know how you are doing. Give us a call. Love you. Bye. Next message. Hey, buddy, bro, bro. Is that beef jerky delicious or what? Um, I'm telling you, next time, we got to do it the other way. It'll be cheaper, and we need to use a fattier cut. We need to use brisket and uh, do it the way I was talking about, having it uh, sliced by the butcher, and it'll wind up costing us about, you know, 79 cents a pound instead of four or something a pound. And uh, the fattier, the better on that stuff. You, fatty beef jerky is just the best. Bye. 